Well, so much for slowing down champion releases. This is the Paladin's Last Remains PTS with the newest damage character, Kasumi Death's Howl. The primary fire is a Yokai Doll. Stab your doll, dealing 250 damage every 0.6 seconds and applying stacks of curse to your currently targeted foe. Uh, what curse is, you deal 10% increased damage to your target per stack of curse. And one thing that's very unique about this ability is, unlike any other primary fire in the game, you cannot use this unless you're in a certain range. So if I go over here, nothing works. If I get... Okay, jeez. If I get in range, we get the little indicator and then we can start attacking. As you can see, our damage goes up a little bit each time. And additionally, the curse stacks is, for each curse stack you apply, the target deals 2% less outgoing damage. So, with 5 stacks, the victor is going to have a 10% damage debuff on him. Going to be very good for helping to keep enemies in check. The secondary fire is Savage Tear. Viciously rip through your yokai doll, dealing 525 damage. And at max stacks of curse, disarm your target for 1 second. So, disarming is the enemy cannot use their primary fire for one second. So here it is normally. And let's get full stacks, show that off. That's not today. 900 damage. Ability one is Spirit Lure. Place up to three traps. Reactivate this ability when an enemy gets close to teleport to the most recently triggered trap, dealing 100 damage, applying three stacks of curse, and applying a 1.5 second fear to nearby foes. So, what is this? Is this the Q? You yep. Can't escape. So you leave these little mines behind. This is affected by Illuminate. Normally they're stealthed. And get one over there. And we'll put one on the enemy so we can show up what it's like. So you get that little indicator and we could go in. I'm gonna scare little Vic. And because he's a bot, he'll just Don't constantly do this. run away. Second ability, and technically the movement skill, this is Body and Soul. Project yourself outward for two seconds, leaving a physical manifestation behind. While traveling, you are ethereal and gain increased movement speed, but your body is vulnerable to damage at a reduced rate. You can reactivate the ability to teleport back to your body, or your body will teleport to you if not reactivated. This is what that looks like. So, I mean, you are pretty zippy. It's just, you're leaving your body behind, like in a Mani Dragon, and... I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, let me show this one more time what the reduced damage looks like. I mean, it is quite reduced. I, I still think that's kind of rough. Alright, last up we have the ultimate bitter betrayal. Inflict a deadly curse on your target, designating them as a betrayer. After 1.75 seconds, your target explodes outwards in a series of projectiles. They and any enemy hit will gain 5 stacks of curse and take 80 damage every 0.2 seconds for 2.6 seconds. And damage is increased based on the number of curse stacks. So this is what that looks like. <laughs> well, those projectiles didn't hit anyone else, but obviously there is the potential for AoE with the ultimate. Alright, so we got talents. The first one is Empowered Curse. Increase your attack speed by 5% and movement speed by 5% per stack of curse currently on enemies. And this is what that looks like. Now one thing I notice is when you switch targets, uh, and I forgot to mention this with the primary, when you switch targets, your first target will lose two stacks and the new one will gain two stacks. So one more time, there we go. But one thing I did notice is when you do this, your other target, the stacks disappear as soon as you continue attacking, which is kind of annoying. That's the increased attack speed. Alright, next up we have Spirit Bombs. Spirit Lures become timed mines and can no longer be reactivated. Exploding a small duration after being triggered to deal damage, fear, and apply curse stacks. Trap placement now has an increased cooldown. Let's see what that looks like. You can't hide from me. Oh, okay, looks like they have a little bit of increased range. That's actually quite a bit of range, holy moly. Hold on, let's see what this range is. Hold on, I'm just gonna look as far as possible. 
That's like almost a 100 unit range. Okay, that is definitely not bad. It's kind of an... Okay, there is a target indicator if you press and hold, but it's not the best. They can't escape. All right. And then last up, we have Unfinished Business. Extend the duration of body and soul by one second. After the ability ends, heal for 70% of the damage your body took while traveling unaffected by cauterized. Uh, we will show this off real quick. Let me just make my way over to the Cassie bots. One thing I noticed is the, the weapon inspect is a little broken. This is what it's supposed to look like without moving. But the second you start jumping around, it gets um, a little... Disjointed. Anyways, here's the new body and soul. So, there you go, you get healed up afterwards. Customize your champion! <laughs> and she just jump scared me. Because that was. Oh, Jesus Christ, you did it again. <laughs> okay, that was with the human skin, but it was even more creepy with the human skin. Alright, this is game number four. Gonna try the first talent again. I actually tweaked this build. So every 10 seconds I pretty much get full stacks on an enemy and so you start out more bursty. Alright, let's see how we do. I do have characters who like to invade my space, so... That should be good here, right? First blood! Okay, okay. Oh, that's what that sound was. I'm like, oh, I thought it was... Oops. Killing spree. Eyes in the sky. Oh, I forgot to buy items. Whoops. Uh, let's go on these ones. I... They will pay for this. Shields are really annoying. A lot of people are playing Barrett this BTS. Okay, maybe we're getting into the flow now. I think I'm gonna die here. I don't know if, he, if she missed that or uh, the ability actually saved me there. Two, one. Attack, freedom fighters. Uh, nope. All right. That will make it past the Senate. They can't escape. Okay, I cannot engage. Stop moving. Oh, okay, I get it. That, that, yeah, that is. <laughs> oh, 
god. My game just lagged out. That's long. Got it. About the Amani Infernal Cannon momentum bug. It has been acknowledged. Now, maybe it'll get fixed. <laughs> Game five, I think this is. I'm going to try the second talent again. Where these are timed mines. Uh, Prepare for battle. I know I had this as my build, but I kind of want to stick with the first build. So I'm going to stick with this. Basically, these explode after like two seconds. The battle has begun! Uh, alright. I imagine Fernando's gonna be, like, kinda a problem to deal with. An enemy has because he could just plop the shield up. Oh, okay, it's not an Aegis Nando, though. Okay, maybe I can do things. Okay, okay. Over time. Thanks, sorry, Mouse. Attack. Yeah, I'm starting to feel like this might be the best way to play her. Oh, Lordy, I don't know what just happened to me. God, that was a silicone ragdoll if I ever saw one. Right, coming up on my old now. This is a character where you have to play close to your team. That's five in a row. Is she gonna touch? Okay, she is. Oh, I think I hit her with the fear. Alright. Five, four, three, two, one. 
Alright, let's see if we could get the bomb on the side again. You can't hide. I don't think anybody's here. Seven's nearby. I hear him. It's a little disorienting when you come out of that. Thank you. They will pay for this. Time to save the holiday. They can't escape. Stop the payload. No, baby. I'm like starting to get the groove. Is this the new Symmetra? <laughs> new Symmetra 2.0 with the auto aim? I will not Short range auto aim? Not yet, amigo. Goodness. I will definitely say my first three games were not good, and I do have to say I think this character is going to be a lot better in Onslaught and TDM when compared to Siege. I guess my hitbox was poking out. Overtime. Day has been saved. Yeah, I, th I think I'm getting the hang of it with this talent. You just kind of like throw this out when people get out of range. Although I'm kind of guesstimating on the range, because this is always the cater. Alrighty. Okay, I'm going shoot for point. No. Watch the objective. Oh god, I don't know what's happening if I'm completing like trials and I'm lagging out. Oh, goodbye. I will not Not yet, amigo! Enemy killing spree. Enemy double kill. Enemy rampage. Oh. 
Falcon Can we touch? Kinda. Overtime. An attempt was made. Metro 2.0 wishes wish she had this range though. Almost goodbye. Why am I so fast? Okay, two for me. Ah, I got greedy. Marabos. 15 seconds remaining. Get Get Ten. Nine. Oh, we got it. That was close. Two. One. Alrighty, let's see. I'm try going this way. Anyone coming? I hope this nope. goes with your hope. You can't hide from me. Everyone needs to come back. On the plane. Enemy killing spree. Oh, got me. Enemy double kill. Enemy triple kill. In the spawn, I guess. Up there somewhere. I am here. Thank you, sir. Dead, sir. I will not die. Not yet, Amigo. Saved. 
stamp. It's just just very satisfying to constantly be spamming this stamp. 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 They can't escape. You got this, children. Pick me up. Neil. Enemies on our flight. Killing spree. Actually, in game the range feels a lot better. I don't. Maybe that was a training range bug. Because in the training range it felt really short, and like here I'm like attacking from over here and it's fine. Yeah, I feel like Aegis Nando is going to be really strong against this character. Especially because, to me at least, she seems like she wants to be playing like close range with her team, as opposed to like other damage dealers who just hang in the back. That's smart. Be careful. Defend. Fifteen seconds remaining. Ooh, I lose that one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Oh, we got damage taken. I don't think it's gonna be enough. Overtime. Enemy double kill. Enemy rampage. Ah. Oh. Defeat. Okay. 125k damage. All right, top damage on my side. Not too shabby. I think we'll try one more for the video, then we'll leave it at that. I'm debating on which talent I like more. I like this talent because you don't have to worry about like the clunkiness of setting up the spirit lures. And like, you know, worrying about teleporting about into an, a team, but on the other hand, I like the attack speed from this. This one I think is garbage. I'm gonna go with the second talent again. See, I do have five, I'm getting Haven. I wonder if I can just hang out by the window. Get stabby. That's a weird intro skin. Enemy killing spree. I can't wait to tell them how I felt about that. You're all This is starting out great. I also like that this talent gives her a little bit of range. Not the best, far from it. Okay, go from here. Oh god, I don't I don't know why I thought my Q did something else. I thought I was Vatu for a second. I'm like, oh I'm gonna teleport on him and get him. Nope. 
interesting. Do this as same. Rampage. You are not welcome here. Ooh, maybe she gets this. I don't think she didn't get anybody. Oh god, it's like playing Symmetra 2.0, oh, your auto aim gets confused. Don't pop me. Thank you. Enemy killing spree. Well, thanks for the heals. What is he doing up there? Almost had it. say one weird complaint that I have about this character is she kind of doesn't feel like a paladin's character like lore wise like what connections does she have to any of the other paladin's champions like I feel like even Sati feels more lore relevant Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna focus on capping my haven It might be one of those long-winded siege games that ultimately ends in a loss, but I mean, the longer we hold, the more footage we get, right? Okay, that's a lot of healing. So wait, do these do damage or? Exploding after being triggered to deal damage fear. How much damage is it doing? Because I'm not even like seeing it. How much damage does it do? Please? A hundred? Is that it? Not 
Double kill. Okay, despite being a close range fighter, this is not a character to fight tanks with. Right? Alright, let's see if we can salvage this. Link left. Oh, everybody's going the other way. Siege for y'all. So that game was 59k damage. Second top on my team. I got out damaged by Moji. Dang. Alrighty, y'all. So first impressions. Um, I think the primary is fine. The DPS is kind of low, understandably though, since it is short range. I do feel like Kazumi's base health should be increased. I think I have bonus health in all my builds. Um, I do think base health should just be 2200. I don't know why it's 21. It seems kind of unnecessary. Um, the disarm from Savage Terror, I personally feel like it should apply like regardless and maybe just have the disarm be longer based on the number of stacks you have. Um, spirit Lore, the base Spirit Lore, I don't like this ability at all. This is just really confusing. You, you have to like set traps ahead of time and like sometimes if you put it in the wrong spot you'll just teleport into like three enemies and die. Uh, it's a little... it's a little... it's a very confusing ability this one. Uh, the movement skill, what was this called? Body and soul? This I don't like at all. I feel like... I feel like that second body should just be a decoy. Like a Sati decoy and you just move around normally like Maldamba. Just... Being able to take damage sucks. I got killed so many times while trying to escape. Because, think about it. Half the time you use a movement skill is when someone dives you or you're trying to escape danger. And this does not help with that. In fact, it actually probably aids the enemy in killing you because there's a stationary target sitting there now. Um, ultimate, not much to say about it. It's fine. It's okay. does damage. Nothing crazy. Uh, as for talents, I like... I think I like the second one the best so far, just because you remove that conf the confusion from using the spirit lures normally. Although I think most players will gravitate towards the first talent. The third talent, honestly, if they keep body and soul the way it is, I feel like this should be base kit and rework this to something else. Maybe just like a normal Maldama dash or something. But um, like Caspian, I feel like... There is a good basis here. She just needs some quality of life buffs. I feel like Caspian still needs quality of life buffs even after what he just got, but... Yeah, I, I think um, I think I'm going to enjoy this character very much. I think she's going to be a lot better in Onslaught, like I said. And um, I don't know if it caught in the video, but this might be the Symmetra 2.0 <laughs> of Paladins <laughs> with the short-range auto-lock, so maybe my old Overwatch players will be happy with that. First blood. Anyways, y'all, that's what I think about Kazumi. Let me know what you think down below. Hope y'all enjoyed, and peace.